But I hear the battle is starting, so we are into game five of Gra TM versus League of Liberty Team One. Here we go. We have seen the um, Gra TM taking or keeping, should I say, their lineup they just won the last battle with, which is very sensible, obviously. They did just win. But can we see some sort of aggression from them? We are seeing the team going all one direction. Kalento's going up the hill, but so is Misty Rock and the rest of the team going around. They are the entire team going the same way with an AMX uh, 1390. Uh, pushing Armagon are along. Some team damage occurs, but it's all about the speed. And they are trying to play aggressively, I'm thinking. We're going to see a big push here from Gra. Thank you, Gra. You've heard, our, you've heard our praise for some entertaining matches here tonight. Not every game can be stellar, because if they were all stellar, that would be average. International 64 moving up with Minx leading the pack, but Miss You Rock is doing the scouting. If Miss You Rock runs into a, a large enemy force, we'll obviously alert it to the rest of the team. They will abort the big push. But if it's all clear, or Miss You Rock can kill uh, a T1 or a T2, that will be absolutely perfect for Gra because a scout is just a scout. And they won't think much of it if a T50 uh, 2 gets into their base and kills the scout that was in the base. Pings are going off, and they're telling Mr. Rock to keep going forward. But Mr. Rock is going backwards instead. Not sure what that was about. Maybe Mr. Rock was actually um, spotted, and there were some shots going off there. So Mr. Rock was probably spotted and gave the information. Hey, guys, I've been spotted. And that was what the pings were for. The guy is probably situated over at this location and pinged over at this bush here. But no connections were made, or at least no kills were made, by the return fire from his teammates. Boom! Miss! Minx, Daniel, Blonde, and International 64 push really far up, and I thought this was going to be a very aggressive tactic, but instead, League of Liberty go, hey guys, we know you're playing aggressively, but you're cowed out at the last second, you panicked. We are instead, though, going to play aggressive and take your base. Hey guys, we're in your base, capping your dudes. Mr. Lucky Russia, plus probably 51 Russ, but Pinocchio is taken down in the enemy base by Miss You Rock. Uh, sorry, International 64 supporting him. Uh, so that will allow Capture to start if Miss You Rock wants to. But we see Red Gras actually coming back right now to try and to defend. I'm actually surprised that they didn't just try and cap with two or more guys because they could have actually won by now. Uh, Gra not being back at all. But that's what we get for knowing exactly where Gra, Gra is, where League of Liberty didn't know where all of them were and didn't want to risk having three of their tanks out in the open. Amelie trying to spot whoever is capping, but instead runs into Lucky Rusher and backs off, immediately sliding on the hill and tracking himself, but taking no damage in the process. International 64, though, is going to come up, and the cap was aborted by League of Liberty. Realizing that the entire Red Rush Gra is almost back, they decided that 30 seconds is a bit too long, and they're going to abort it instead. Miss you, Rock goes down to 7 HP after two shots from Lift for Surf. The third shot does take him down. So Miss uh, Lift for Surf, no doubt, is going to be reloading right now. But great shooting there by the artillery on uh, Red Gra. And he runs south. We know that he's running up to support Lucky Russia, who is now retreating back from the cap circle after they did lose their T2 light as well. So Gra now in a very comfortable situation with no HP lost among their main battle tanks. In fact, any of the tanks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, no tank has taken any significant damage apart from obviously losing Miss You Rock.
Now we can see if any they're going to actually make something happen. Uh, Gra needs to take control of this battle. All my praise about how aggressive these guys can be will go out the window if they don't take advantage here um, of their significant uh, uh, HP and sight lead. Although they lost their T50-2, the enemy lost both their scouts and now, and now they outnumber them. Although they have two small artilleries, the two small artilleries are very good on maps like this, where they have high angles and reasonable damage. I wouldn't snuff if you get hit by a Bison or a Storm Panzer II, they'll do 300 plus damage, sometimes. International 64 pushing up. And if I was Gra right now, I would be really trying to make these sort of uh, moves happen. And Live for Surf is spotted again. With only 564 HP, I would be really surprised if Gra didn't try and rush this guy and take him out of the game. He has fully reloaded by this point. And with so low HP, if three of them rush him at the same time, they're guaranteed to kill him with three shots. But Minx instead is going to go solo. Oh, but he runs into Streko, and Streko's going to exchange firepower with Minx. But Minx being in the MX-90 and Streko being in the MX-100, Minx will get the short end of the stick there this is why you need to have uh, go around at least in pairs but Amelie and Colento are there to help Minx and push forward but they disengage again both these teams just don't want to connect they just don't want to engage each other and Amelie takes a shot to the face from Streko but Streko takes two shots probably from Dienio Blon and uh, Amelie himself and the next shot oh what a round here from International 64 taking into Live for Surf but receiving so much damage I don't think that was worth it um, two tanks go down immediately there one shot from the artillery from Cassius Clay and one from Lucky Russia so that was really unfortunate play there from um, Red Gra they, I don't think they needed that ram the T69 is heavier than the 90 and that just wasn't beneficial for the team but oh another shell lands and he dies that's some crazy Belka is able to clean up the artillery there from Gra will Minx go down the answer is no not entirely sure where that shot came from we're going to try to follow Minx as he tries to disengage. But it looks like Liga Liberty are taking the massive advantage now against uh, Gra. After Gra uh, wasted, I think, a bit cockily, uh, did the engagement against Live for Surf and Streko. But Cassius Clay is spotted and Minsk is over there with Cassius Clay undefended. Unless Cassius Clay can get a direct shot, I think this will be... I'm going the wrong direction. Minsk will, could actually die. And instead, we're going to jump to Minsk and see what he can pull off from this. Going around the back is a very intelligent thing to do. But the more time he waits, the higher chance Mr. Crazy Belka or Lucky Russia will get back. So it's up to Minsk to get away. But Lucky Russia has seen him. Will probably try a snapshot. But the artillery he does and gets him down to 87 HP. He's definitely a one shot now from anything. And he's trying to get, uh, get out of there. Minx is running for his life, and if he goes down, to be fair, this could be Gra all over. Lucky rushes, trying around the corner. Great pathfinding there from uh, Minx. Uh, will his teammate uh, Belka from the League of Liberty guys try and cut off Minx? But Minx's formation is fantastic until he breaks his tracks. He breaks his tracks, and unfortunately, that means that Lucky Russia will be able to catch him up. He was so close to being able to get away as Kalento was there, ready to cover him. But he cracked his tracks, going down that hill just ever so slightly wrong. And that mistake will cost Gra the set. One point each if this goes into a draw. Um, well, to be fair, Gra now could be a bit cheeky. Considering League of Liberty have been the main defenders throughout all of this. Although Gra hasn't been that aggressive. If I was in Gra's shoot right now, going for a defense um, and you know, obviously drawing the game wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing right now. But with a minute left, and only the Bison left, who just fired, revealing his position. Lucky Russia, Mr. Crazy Belka, now knows where Armageddon is, meaning that a draw is very unlikely. Surviving for one minute right now as a Bison is very unlikely. Or did they spot him? No, both of them are trying to cap. If Armageddon... If Armageddon does get the shots, he could reset the cap and get the victory. 
Oh no, not with three of them in there. Oh dear. He has to be incredibly lucky. Fingers crossed here for Gratiem, as they're going to take this into a draw if they doesn't get the shot off now. He has to fire now if he doesn't fire now. It's a miss. It's a draw. Do you know what? I'm not surprised. That game screamed a draw <laughs> from the start. With the first game ending in a draw and every game subsequent from then being incredibly slow place, uh, paced, how could it be anything other than a draw? Uh, League of Liberty being the team with the most draws by absolutely a ton. Their strategy really is making even the more aggressive teams fall back to defensive tactics being, I guess, not confident in their um, ability to crack a defensive nut. I'm not entirely sure why they feel that they can't do it. Gra proved when they were very aggressive that they could do it. Um, but for some reason, they lost their confidence um, after the first game was a draw. And in the third game, they lost one of their guys immediately to the um, artillery. I don't know. Is, is that the reason? But you can see the schedule now. Oh, come on, update. There we go. Um, League of Liberty draws with Gratiem in the first game tonight. The last game of the night will be Aces versus Synergy. I promise you it's going to be a lot better. So uh, stay tuned. We'll be back hopefully very, very shortly. Um, I'm not going to bother putting on a playlist for you. I will instead play some music for you. And we'll be back in, I don't know, 10 minutes. See you then.